All right. So something I want to try to do is um, under the quality checks for types. So let's go with the latest and go uh, attachment count. In types such as this one, can I actually? Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, so one of the things I have a bit of a problem with these quality checks is the fact that it's not actually checking. Like it checks counts, which is fine, but when it's checking like pointers to these types, which is like, you know, a number of these, it's just checking the pointers. It's not actually going through and doing like a deep check of the number, the type, or the number of types inside of it. So I got to try to figure out a way to kind of fix that. Um, which of course means getting rid of this and instead going to source. Equality checks. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, so in the definition, let's actually have a look at uh, what we've got going on. So for one thing, I want to actually, uh, I'm going to debug it. I'm going to see if I can get um, if um, iterator dot okay, hold on. Struct as union, platform define, da, 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 if def for members. Okay. What's this? Iterator dot members. It's a struct of what? What are structs? It's struct data. Okay. Uh, dot name. I want to check if dot name. Okay, let's see if we can actually get this to fire off to this point. I do. Okay. What I have for GDB is the other one. this I need for an argument that's um hmm the day okay here we go this is what I want I want to include Okay, I need to these for arguments, the dash i for the include. Like that. 
XML VK. Or right, we're just going to do like um, here. Okay, so it's Vulcan Docs. XML. Vulcan Docs. XML. Because, okay, if I go to, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to, come on. There must be some way to actually. Yeah, this type. Um, has a can like it has a length and this uh, another type. So it's just this. So as long as I can uh, find this and keep track of this length, I should be able to actually just modify this output if it has a length type to be whatever that is. So it, we got the same thing down here for dynamic states. Um, specifically that. 200 type, times? Jeez. Yeah, that's a lot of times this will happen. Yeah, I can uh, really fix up a lot of these ones if I can figure this out. Now, okay. Do we don't have a build task, really. I. Set it to automatically true. Let's take a little gander. Okay, we have one. We're here at... That is not it. How is that even close to being the same as this? I don't understand. What? Oh, right. I didn't actually um, set the pre-launch task to be build. Okay, now we have the right one. Okay, wonderful. We go inside and we're going through. And then we have members. It's like the seventh one, right? Blend? No. Sixth? Okay. Attachment count. Okay, what I need to find, I need to add to this is so that's a, that's member member up here. So standard string length um, count. I guess so struct data members. Member node. Okay, so member node is probably. <sighs> this is the member node. If the name is member, it goes through and does all this. Now, if we need to see if there is a subtype. So it's checking for type nodes. First node, first, ad, okay, there's a search for an ad, optional attribute. Yes, okay, so we just need to add it here. If name attribute equals first attribute, uh, it's length or len. If um, no, 
length equals we'll just we'll just do it to len 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 equals the value standard string view yes yeah, standard string view of the value I'll just yeah or can it be string view or would it can be oh uh, where am I dang here I am Okay, length equals that. Yeah. This actually may be a lot faster than I was expecting it to be. Uh, okay, we got this. We got item members. Sixth length is attachment count. Okay. Okay, so we were then going through, we have the data we want, it's going through the members. Now, if hmm. Hold on. This is hmm. do, 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 do. Not quite. Doing this first. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Yeah. If hmm. So I do want to do array members first. Uh. Okay, we need to go through the count types. Let's see if we just sneak that over a little bit. Can't remember. Okay, we'll try to do length types. Member dot empty continue. Otherwise, we want to do a, a little bit of uh, this. I want to make sure they're the same. Oh, 
four zero. Yeah, okay. Hmm, no, not really. I want to kind of do like this. Four. Turn. If Lang, ah, okay, left hand side dot. Just do return false, just like that. We'll just have a couple of repeats like that. Slash in, slash in. Okay, let's see how this, what this uh, prints out. Into <clears throat> the build directory, I presume, probably. Oh no, it'll be in the root. So here, I'm gonna check. Ah, yes, not member.name, member.length.name. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to type suffix equals that. No, type equals first node value. What? Maybe I just can't use this. Maybe it has to be. I'll just change it to string. It's still null terminated. Why exactly is this going on? Okay. The application name, sure, whatever. Alt oh we it is actually null terminated, isn't it? Null term yeah. And okay. So no, this was actually going fine. It's just the fact that null terminated it is an actual uh, value that can be a main uh, used.
Okay, maybe uh, I should actually keep null terminated and actually do a check up to that. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, if or member len equals null terminated. Okay. Keeping it around, number length equals Q count. Okay, that should now leave these guys as. <sighs> Great, I lost the uh, go there. If attachment count not equals that, return false. Do a double N. Um, it's kind of same thing with this, wouldn't it? Okay, mem regular members. Um, or member dot dot empty actually no 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 down here this is what i care about not member dot dot empty i'll take that one out that should just leave Attachment count to deal with. Now I need to go through for all members. Go through the members again, auto const and in mem members. If member dot name equals in mem dot lang, then we're going to <laughs> continue out, break out. Um, Go to uh, member and yeah, evil go to. Okay, that's uh, that's that can't remove from this. Now I just need to add the array comparison. Hmm. If not that, if it's not empty, then we're doing this type. Otherwise, not member dot lang dot empty. Then we've got to do the other type. 
to be similar, but not quite. If member dot lang dot equals null terminated else we're doing the uh, old good old fashioned one. Okay. Uh, geez, how would I do this? Mem compare. No, it'd be like string compare, wouldn't it? Um, pointer or block to memory because that's the number that requires a number of bytes to compare. No terminated comparison. String length, string compare. Compare is a C string, string one to string two. If they're equal to each other, it continues with following pairs until the characters differ or until terminated and no characters reached. Okay, so it would be string compare. I need string compare. Otherwise, um, out file. not equals zero. Hmm. String compare. Left hand side dot. The name. Side dot the same thing. <coughs> Number dot name. Okay. Less than uh, left hand side dot. Who would be, it doesn't really matter, they're both outside. I know they're the same. Okay, if I move this up, hmm. No, I'll just leave it like this. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, see what we've got for red errors. Okay.
These are tests. I just want to see if it. <clears throat> okay, let's. Go down the base. Generate. Okay. Um, a number of changes. I put it on the wrong one, didn't I? Yes. Left hand side dot that. Left hand side dot. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Turn off these guys. Okay, let's try this again a little bit. Okay, now it's a little bit better, I guess. And we've got a couple more spaces going on. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't have no uh, new lines. New line? New line. Um, new line. There we go again. Checks the name of the application, checks the name of the engine, and it goes through with these other things. Yeah, again, they were just switching, uh, they were just comparing pointers, which not very useful. Now it's actually comparing the data. Q count, and then it checks yes. This is very nice. Ooh, I've still got mm, null terminators going on here. Why is it being added to the count type? That makes little sense. Wait, are these types? No, come on. Why would you do that to me? It is. It's either by count or null terminated. How many of these we got? Four, just four. Okay. Oh, this is a whole lot of garbage.
because this isn't even checking things correctly. It's just checking. Um, again, they're checking pointers, not actually checking the data because it's double pointered up nonsense. Like this is a it's how many of these do we got? Got a five, one, two, three, four, and one more down here for whatever this is. Hmm. Okay, here's one way to deal with it. I'm just going to just not do these two types. If it dot equals or Uh, there's no point doing these is what I'm going to say. Continue. Do, do, do the same thing up here for the declaration. Okay, no more null terminated crap, which I can like very much. These two types are gone. Okay, I think I'll take this as acceptable enough. Much time. Mm -hmm. Night. Okay, great. Where's the CPP files? Way down here. Okay, that's actually going to be quite nice, but I want to do this. Just be honest, I don't want to deal with them. Okay, now we got this. We don't need this.
those specific members. Attribute. This probably just makes it way longer by about 600 characters. Let's see if I can actually just kind of, yeah, just do it. Just leave it all the extra space. Make it a bit easier to read. that up and call it there of course it wasn't quite that easy because now I got uh, some problems with uh, empty returns because now they're all being done up here and I got some other where it's like it's an incomplete type because it's a void star type instead <sighs> which is just Great. So for one, we want to do this. We want to see there's void star types. So I should be able to actually isolate them. Oh, because it's, yeah. Okay, there we go. It's a much more recent one. So we got this. What it what, which one was this? This is with a void star type. Three const type star. Hmm. Maybe I could do a mem compare, perhaps. I'm not sure. CD. Samples check. Okay. That's a lot of these types. Initial data. Initial data size. P data P tag. P tag size. Uh, what's going on with this guy? How is this? Oh man, don't. Why? Why would... Okay. 
So for this one, we need to go into the Vulcan um, parsing. We'll knock this one out easy. And it is where we have to go with length, 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 member, length, member loop end. Here we go. If, if we have an alternate length type, then it basically replaces it instead. Alt length. Yeah. So I'll fix one slight problem. So otherwise for these types, we've got just rasterization samples, incomplete type, const void stars. Like do these, what, what is this, data size? Map entry count, that's good. Data size is data. Another alternate length type. Code size divided by four, yeah. Hmm. Oh, you're joking me. It's not going to work just doing that. Because it now be code size divided by four. It's not that. It's. I mean, it'll work for this, but not for this. Now I remember why I didn't even touch this. Okay, I need <laughs> I need the alternate length as well. Okay. Damn, damn it. Alt length. Else uh tenth dot length alt length equals dot length that means an equality check if um, length length Alt length is all terminated. This one, alt length. They take math, two, three, and the other location is here, whereas the rasterization samples. Oh, that's inside.
This is probably something I'm going to actually have to keep around as well and use. How, like, oh my god. How on earth do they do it? I swear. Do, like, how does Vulcan HPP do it? Okay, where is it? It's four and a half megabytes. It's not that big. Okay, uh, equals equals. Okay, let's do like operator. Okay, I'm not sure what these arrays are about. Come on, down here. Oh my God. Okay. Um, let's find this specifically. Here you go, spaceship operator. Did they not just not P sample mask? No, they do. P sample mask. Um Okay, maybe they're doing okay, P sample mask. Because this to me looks like they're just doing a pointer check. And then it must be doing something else. It's no way they're making the same mistake I am. They must be doing something funky with all of this stuff. Okay, let's see if I can actually um, just add it here somewhere. Stand on, something like that. Just kind of do this. What's with standalone? Is standalone like a library or executable? It's just it's a library. Um, okay, that's a bad example. Do it here.
Okay, okay. What do you need? What do you need? Okay, why are you still going for this? <clears throat> you shouldn't be. This guy's... Standalone lib does not even have... Yeah, so I commented out the wrong one. But he still managed to try to find it. Oh, wow, I completely, uh, wow. Okay. Now I want to run this instead, please. I'm pretty sure it does. I know it's in the example directory. Oh my God, mate. No, 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 no. Temp dot, please don't call mask equals x6. I don't care, whatever. If it really is checking the actual pointers, then I'm just disappointed. Come on, eight. Hey. Whoops.
Yeah, see, it's point. It's trying to do the items inside. I think. Okay, let's see a uh, sample mask. It's literally a UN32. I guess it is just doing a check of the pointer types. Okay, what about um, okay, device? This is a like P physical devices, a group device create info, sure. Yeah, this will give me a bit more insight. No, the looks like they're again, they're just doing pointer checks. Not actually going through each of them and checking them. I've got a lot of stuff going on in here. Okay, I'm just, it looks like they're just comparing pointers. So they didn't actually solve this problem. I'm just trying to do something ridiculous. Even they haven't tried. Or well, they have and didn't succeed at. Great. Okay. Okay, is there like a string compare in here? There are a couple. Let's see if we can um, a 
I want to go back directory. Do that. A tech math is not something we want. Right. Let's just run this. a few less issues to do with LaTeX math. Nope, nope, it's still there. Well, okay, one of them is dealt with. This one hasn't been. Left hand side dot code size. I need to find I need to be able to regex the section out of that. Means going back to regex. Okay, I want to cheat sheet because I have no idea what I'm really doing. On a capture group. Hmm. I'm going to just grab the stuff inside of the brackets. Not this. No. Hmm. Okay, non capturing group. Don't capture that. That's a negative look ahead. Let's do capturing that. And non capturing that. Come on.
Okay, so we can try that. We we get uh, this stuff, put that. We got a capturing group inside. God, it's still capturing it. Okay, uh, what's you got? Do 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 do. Okay. It's still capturing the... No. Now it's just getting everything again. Okay, okay. What if I do do this as part of the poll, but I just discard the first and last character in the group that I capture. If we do this, okay, first of all, that becomes that. And then temp.len equals. whatever this is about. So doing this, we're gonna go through uh, temp thought length, beginning and end, search regex. And then say you become this moment. And see how this goes. After we not quite. Regex. Okay, then it needs to be string. That's true.
Regex error. Great. Precisely what I was just. <laughs> right then, we are going to do. Can't use regex. Can't use find instances of curly brackets. String, substring, CPP reference. Let's just double check string. Position and count. So it's start iterator. And end iterator minus start iterator. Gonna fail, probably because what? Find first of study iterator is eighteen twenty seven. That sounds like a lot, but okay. What's temp thought length right now? Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, okay, that makes a bit of sense. So temp thought length becomes code size. So I need um, plus one, minus one. Okay. Another one, a little bit further down. Are you kidding me? Now I got a whole bunch of other stuff going on. What's this? What is this? Um. Okay. Yes. 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 If. Only do this if uh, we actually have something there. Or maybe it doesn't even matter. What the hell's going on?
Like, am I just super crazy or? He's still terminated. Fantastic. He's still terminated. Fantastic. Q count. You can create info, whatever. Then alt length equals that. Yeah, that's fine. Where the hell is this met? Where the hell were all these other values coming from? Yeah, for these guys. What, what? How does this even happen? Wonderful, we have length. Acquire count. Acquire, hold on, acquire count, acquire count, acquire count, release count, release count, okay. So this should be acquire, 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 release, release. So the why on earth is it a whole bunch of random garbage instead? I don't understand it. Oh, maybe I do actually. Yes, I do actually, it's because of that. I'm just missing all this stuff because I'm exhausted. Bit. Okay. Remove, move, run it. These guys will be fixed. Yep. So it just leaves these guys, data size. If specialization info. Okay, let's see. We go down the specialization info. We have look. Got the members of this guy. Type and type suffix. If it's null terminated, run the string compare. If, okay, else if. And we got an else. Member dot type equals void. And member dot, what was it? Type suffix equals star. Uh, 
Then we need to do a mem compare. Where's member name, member name, and um, not mem copy, mem compare. Oh, come on. which is just count. Okay. Run that one. I mean, that's a lot less. Well, zero. Okay, what well, we got? We got rasterization samples. Still a little bit of a problem on this one, and this one, okay. And then these guys. Am I wrong on this? Is it like rasterization samples when the thing got... Is there two? There's two of them. Oh, my... Mm -hmm. Okay, last of. Hack it. Hack it. And then we have just this. What are these guys? Just kind of do like an and true. So now we've got a, these guys. Member definitions. Mm hmm. Okay, if is first, then do this. Otherwise, not even. All right? Maybe that'll work. It just leaves the rasterization samples. Okay.
Okay. Okay, um, auto. Search it. No, search it right here. Let's remember dot alt lang dot find. <sighs> find accepts a full string, right? Find first subsequence. Then I want the new standard. Dot um dot insert. At this point, then does it accept a string type or doesn't look like it? No, oh, yeah, yeah, it does. Um, or just left hand side dot that hand side. Okay, go on now out of here. Not quite. Fine, do that, please. If I would return a different string, insert count copies, insert. Oh, it returns this. Uh, okay.
Yes, I like that. Okay, now we've got none void returns. Okay. Get rid of that. Updated for number types. Yeah, I'm just doing that. Okay. Um, generate. Ah, yes, I need to move those down. Let me run generate. Uh, that looks a bit better. We got fixes for code size. We got the corrected size for this. Uh, remove that. Void types, it's now at Mm 
Uh, I'm sorry, what? Pretty cold after throwing instance of standard out of range. Are you what? Gonna throw this at me now, like on an old version, like a version eighty eight. So you're just gonna do this. I'm just gonna like throw out the first couple of versions. Started like version one hundred. Yeah, we have uh, <sighs> okay, okay. Version 88 of the headers have a problem. That's great. That's what I love to see. This old garbage headers trying to ruin my day. Where exactly are you throwing? Yeah, that's great. You're here. Before version 89, it was square brackets. Okay. Here's where I... Okay. I know how I can fix this. Um... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete all these guys. Yes. And then in the generate script, we're just going to make sure we only go down to uh, 89. And then that'll solve all of my problems. If someone's using version 80, not 88 or before, they're, they're on their own. That's 2018 header. We are only starting like 2017, so it's a very early version. Yeah, 2018. Oh, it's on 89 that it screws up. Ah, yes, yes, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. It's still solvable.
Uh, there we go. Problem solved. And all these guys have slightly better capabilities. See how that comes up with. Yep, 953 and that's going through fine. So I'll call it there then.